Let's talk about the drive, the tenacity, and the passion exemplified by Stockton Rush through his small business, Ocean Gate. I will be breaking this small business down and I will show you why he was right, in my opinion, to start this business. And hopefully through him, Stockton Rush, you can see the qualities it takes to bring your small business to life. Stockton Rush's background and his small business, Ocean Gate, is resounding proof that maybe our government, our country, is doing something backwards. As a young man growing up in California, Stockton Rush loved aerospace and aquatics. His love for aerospace had to be greater because his education and his working career was in aerospace. He received a BS degree in aerospace engineering from Princeton, and he received an MBA from UC Berkeley. He loved flying and aerospace engineering so much that he boasted how it was a joy for him to get up every day and go to work. After retiring from aerospace, he decided to put his engineering acumen to work and he designed a small submersible or submarine. The submarine would be used for scientific research, media production, and site surveying. Common sense tells me that he was applying a lot of the theories and concepts that he learned in aerospace in conjunction with what's known in nautical engineering. But the elephant in the room is, why would he start a small business that requires a nautical engineer when he spent his life being an aerospace engineer? I think I know why. We know that his small business dealt with rich people, deep pockets. So we also know that all the legalities for him to do business were handled. You simply had to sign your life away to do business with him. The ocean is truly the final frontier here on earth. We probably know about maybe 5% of what's going on down there. His submersible was called a Titan. It could go down to a depth of about 4,000 meters, which is about two and a half miles. Now the Titanic is about 2.36 miles deep or 3,800 meters, where the water is murky, muddy, super cold with zero visibility. And the only way that you can navigate is with sonar. Now check this out. Let's look at monetary proof of what's scarier, harder, and the bigger unknown. Virgin Atlantic and SpaceX will take you 63 miles up so that you can see the curvature of the Earth. And they will charge you half a million dollars to $1.25 million for you to get that ticket to ride. Now, Ocean Gate will take you 2.36 miles down to see the Titanic for $200,000 to $250,000. Now you tell me, which trip do you think is harder, scarier, and has a bigger unknown? Hey guys, I want you to tell me why you think Stockton Rush started a business that's the exact polar opposite of what he did his entire career. He went from aerospace to the depths of the ocean. I love this passionate guy as a small business owner. But ultimately, I think he was leaving us a message. Think about this. He could have used his submersible in Florida, go down 12 feet deep at the most, and make tons of money from the tourists. I think he knew and understood that going down into the ocean and confronting and conquering all the unknowns that the ocean presents would help our scientists and engineers exponentially with space travel and aerospace. Stockton Rush, my small business hero. With the qualities he exhibited in his small business, he set an indelible example for others to emulate. His contributions will not go unnoticed because in my opinion, he was looking out for our futures. And with his belief in his small business, 
he was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. Stockton Rush, I love you, and you are truly a blessing to have here amongst us. Thank you again.